Hey, this is an instructional video on how to create a Drupal calendar using the calendar module. I've looked around on the internet, found a couple videos, they were really long-winded, kind of self-congratulatory, so I just decided I'd make my own, maybe I can help you out. Hello internet, here's a little calendar that I made, if this is what you're going for, in five minutes or less I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'm assuming that you have Drupal 6 installed, I'm assuming that you know a little bit about how to administer Drupal, you know what a module is, if you don't you need to hire a professional or get on the forums and learn. In order to accomplish this calendar you need four modules and they are calendar, date, views and CCK. You probably already have views and CCK on your website. If you don't, I don't know why, because they're great modules and they're probably the best thing about Drupal. But anyways, um, you need the calendar and you need the date module if you don't have those installed already. Once you install them, then you need to go down here and into the Drup uh, in the Drupal modules page, you need to do date time and enable the following things. I enabled calendar, calendar pop-up date, date API. If you're one of those freaks who's still running PHP 4, you'll enable this. And then date pop-up, date time zone, date tools. Okay, so once you're done with this, and you save, don't forget to save, and now you're ready to go. If you have any permissions set with content permissions, um, you'll need to look at, at doing that uh, as soon as you create your new content type for your calendar. Okay, so here's my reasoning. You probably don't want every single uh, content type that you have on your website, every single node type, to appear on your calendar. Probably you have just one type of thing that you want to appear on your calendar. Um, and so I created my own content type, my own node type, and I called it calendar item. You can call it events or whatever you want. So this item which then you can assign permissions for who can create these items and so on depending on your uh, situation. I, I used the standard title and then I added a date field and this date field has a from and a to date. It's pretty self-explanatory. You just select date from the field type when you add a new field down here and then a description and these things can be used uh, in the calendar itself. So once you've created this new calendar type then you need to actually go and edit the view for the calendar. So the calendar uses views um, and Here's an interesting thing. You, you don't need to create your own view. Calendar comes with its own view, which is down here at the bottom, and all these grayed out views that you never really pay attention to. Calendar installs one of these, and you just click Enable, and then it's got a pretty decent standard view. So once you enable the view, then all you need to do is edit it to suit your needs. I edited it in three important ways. The first way is that I made sure that my calendar only shows the nodes of the type that I want and my type is calendar item so all you do is click the plus button next to filter in the default view and you add only node type whatever you want okay the next thing that you want to do is um, over here it, it default it shows the title and the updated date I don't think you need the updated date so I just clicked here and clicked exclude and save that one okay so we don't need that um, and then the third thing that I did was that I went in here in the arguments, this is super important, you want to make sure that it's showing your content types based on the from date that you put in the content type. So remember back there when I showed you how you made your new content type and you put in a date? You click on arguments, this is a huge page, don't get too confused, you have to click provide default argument current date. Okay, and then down below you provide your year range. I did plus one, minus one, because you don't need that much years on a calendar. And then the date field that you want to use, I used the from date. Now I didn't need to use the to date, I just used the from date. I clicked it here, all right, and then you're ready to go. There's one last thing, oh there's a fourth thing I remembered. On the calendar over here, by default, there's a super annoying little row that appears on the left-hand side of your calendar that says um, the, the week, like week 21 of the year. Totally unnecessary in my opinion. So I just went into the view and you go to month view, you click the calendar style, the little icon there, and then you do show week numbers no. Okay? And then you click save and you're done. So. Um, that's pretty much it, except that you need to set a time zone. So you go into site configuration, date time, and you set your time zone. Don't let the user configure it unless you absolutely need to. And then um, your calendar should be working. Now it doesn't look like this by default. It looks gray and blue. But then you go in and you use Firebug to select the different areas that you want. Okay, get Firebug if you don't have it. And then you edit your theme CSS file, like I did here, to change the uh, colors. Okay, so oh, that was five minutes. Good luck. Hope it helps.